Are you trying to set and apply your own custom settings to the memory recall numbers on the mode dial, but you find yourself unable to set your shutter speed to anything faster than two and a half seconds, and also unable to change your aperture via your lens? Well, if you were like me, you are just about ready to pull out all of your hair. So allow me to provide you with a solution that resolved my issue. After hours of Googling, updating to the latest camera firmware, taking my camera into the camera shop, as well as after contacting Sony Pro support, I was left with what I felt was a faulty camera until the issue performed the same way on a second Sony a7R5. Here's how I was able to solve my issue. Go ahead and set the mode dial to the first custom setting number one. If you look in the upper left hand corner of your camera's display, you will notice that it says MR1P. That P, I believe, stands for programmed. What we need to do is to change it to M for manual. So just bear with me here and follow these very simple steps. First, turn your mode dial to M. Here you will notice that you are able to change your shutter speed to whatever setting you desire. You will also notice that your camera is accurately reading your lens's aperture setting. Now go ahead and set your desired shutter speed. Next, press the menu button. Go down to the third section with the camera icon, which is called shooting. Scroll down to option number four for shooting mode. Scroll down to camera set memory. After selecting that, you want to select your desired recall option. The first three options are settings that reside on your physical camera's body. The last four options refer to options that are going to be stored on a physical memory card of your choice that you have inserted into your camera. After you select your desired option, you will see the word registered appear. Now back out of the settings by pressing the menu button. Go ahead and turn the mode dial to one, two, or three, aligning to whichever numerical option you registered. And now you will notice in the upper left-hand side of your camera's display, it now says MR1M instead of the previous MR1T. From here, you can turn the camera mode dial away from this save setting. You can turn off the camera and back on again. And your settings that you just saved will remain in a saved location. You are also able to change the shutter and the aperture from that save setting and to your achieved desired settings, assuming that your environment settings change. Let me know in the comment section if this solution worked for you. Hopefully you are enjoying your a7R5 like I am. Happy shooting!